Welcome to your African Diaspora News, where we cover all global news affecting the African diaspora and the people of African descent. Colombia Colombian Defense Minister warns gangs to surrender or be hunted down. The capture in October of drug lord Diego Antonio Yusuga was described by the Colombian government as the most important blow to drug trafficking since the fall of Pablo Escobar. While no one doubted the arrest of Yusuga constituted a significant victory for the security forces, analysis also warned that the capture of Yusuga, who is better known under his alias of Antonio, could lead to a spike in violence as other drug traffickers rushed to fill the vacuum created by his arrest. The Colombian Minister of Defense, however, said that Antonio had ruled the Gulf clan and transnational criminal organizations engaged in drug trafficking and other criminal activities such as extortion with an iron fist, and his capture had left the organization renderless. The minister added that Colombia's security forces had not let up the pressure since Antonio's arrest, but are now on the hunt for his deputies, known as Siopas and Ivo Shorty. Brazil Brazilian football legend Pele back in hospital for treatment on a colon tumor. Brazil legend Pele is in hospital for treatment for a colon tumor. The three-time World Cup winner had surgery to remove a colon tumor in September, with the hospital saying at the time he would also need to have chemotherapy. Sao Paulo's hospital Albert Einstein said that the 81-year-old was in a stable condition and would be discharged in the next few days. Pele said on Twitter last month that he was fine and feeling better every day, following his release from the hospital in September. Pele is Brazil's all-time leading scorer with 77 goals in 92 games and one of only four players to have scored in four World Cup tournaments. Jamaica Robbie Shakespeare influences Sly and Robbie Bassett's dies aged 68. Influential Jamaican reggae artist Robbie Shakespeare, on half of the duo Sly and Robbie, has died aged 68. He died in Florida, where he had recently been in hospital for kidney surgery. The prolific Bassett and the music producer is credited for revolutionizing the sound of reggae and dancehall music. Sly and Robbie took bass playing and drumming to the highest level as they made music for themselves as a group and for many other artists locally and internationally. Throughout a career spanning almost 50 years, Shakespeare collaborated with artists as varied as Madonna, Bob Dylan, No Doubt, Peter Tosh, The Rolling Stones, and Grace Jones. Shakespeare was nominated for 13 Grammy Awards and won two in 1984 for the Best Reggae Recording for Anthem, and then in 1998 for the Best Reggae Album for Friends. May his soul rest in peace. Colombia Colombian family win award for world's best cookbook. A Colombian mother and daughter celebration of their country's traditional leaf-wrapped dishes has been named best cookbook in the world of the Gourmand Awards in Paris. Colombia's envultos are part of the culinary heritage that stretches across much of Latin America, from Tamples of Mexico and Guatemala to the Hamitas of Chile. Mother Zoraida, Chori, Agames, and daughter Hindi Pinto who have been cooking ever since they were children, wrote the prize-winning book, named simply Enveltos, to chronicle the Colombian approach to their delicacies. The duo came from the northern Colombian city of Barang Cambe Meja, but decided nearly four years ago to have criss their country's collecting traditional recipes. Dominican Republic Dominican Republic expels mistreat Haitian, activists say, Haitians have been forced to leave the Dominican Republic at an alarming rate, causing widespread panic in the rapid spike. In the Dominican Republic, more than 31,000 people have been deported to Haiti this year, which eclipses more than 12,000 in the past three months. Human rights activists said this alarming rate of deportation has been the most they have seen in decades. The increasing mistreatment of the country's Haitians coincided with the rise of Luis Abinader, who took office as president in August 2020. They accused the government of targeting vulnerable populations, separating children from their parents, and racial profiling. Haiti is overwhelmingly black, while the majority Dominican identity are mixed race. Dominican authorities, they say, are not only seeking out Asians who recently crossed illegally into the Dominican Republic, but also those who have long lived. Thank you for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tunacheki to watch our daily news report and our website tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. 
Don't forget to catch up on our new show, Startup Africa, every Thursday on our channel. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a Patreon member. And remember, Africa is watching.